Yo, what's going on YouTube? If you hear any background noise, excuse me, you know, it's summertime and I gotta let the windows open, man. It's hot. So anyway, Nathan Cleverly versus Jurgen Bramer. Um I mentioned that fight is going down October first. I mentioned it in the hangout, man, and um for for one, Jurgen Bremer, nobody was high on him, and then Nathan uh, Cleverly's chance on beating um, Jurgen Bremer was uh, even laughed at even more. So, I, for me, um, I I know a lot of I think a lot of people are sleeping on this one. For for me, you know, you gotta you gotta think about it. Even when. Uh, Nathan Cleverly got blasted out by Sergey Kovalov. You can just see in some of the pre-fight hype that, you know, Nathan Cleverly was um, a scared fighter in the ring. It was kind of sad, man. I just, you know, every time I just saw him like on YouTube or whether he's on Box Nation or something like that, um, he looked petrified that he was going to the fight. <laughs> With Sergey Kovalov, and you know he got beat up, but um, but but beforehand, you know this guy was um, he, you know he he was he was up there, man. He was up there. He he wasn't a, a bad fighter. He beat Tony Bellew when he was undefeated. He beat Tommy Karpinski. Uh, he uh, I did see him on on television on uh, Sean Hawk. Uh, I didn't know he faced Tommy Karpinski. Yeah, actually, actually, I uh, I, actually, I do know. I just remember because last time I seen Nathan Cleverly was at the UIC Pavilion, right? I think I must have taken off work, you know, during that time. Man. I must have took a day off, and I went on uh, it's off from Faro versus Nathan Cleverly. This was it was big to me because I ain't never seen Nathan Cleverly live, so I went on to watch the fight, and um. I, like I said, I saw Tommy Karpinski there. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, I fought both of them. I'm like, what? I was like, wow, you fought both of these guys? I didn't know nothing about that. So, anyway, long story short, Sergey Kovalov took his belt. So, this is a former WBO champion. Now, when he was going against, um, when he was getting into the ring, who was that against? Uh yeah, uh uh against Fanfara, you know, I have I had my doubts, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this dude he's probably just gonna get blasted out, man. What's the name? Beat him up really bad. You know what I'm saying? Fanfara is gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Because I was rooting for Fanfara. The thing is I want Fanfara to win because he's right here in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So the more he wins, the more fights the uh, more than likely is gonna come in Chicago, man. I've been I've watched from far a fight several times, you know, here um uh, in Chicago at the UIC Pavilion three years ago, White Sox Stadium and stuff like that. So anyway, long story short, um I'm gonna wrap it up. Old boy from Farah put on a good show. I mean uh, uh Clay Nathan Cleverly put on a good show. A lot of people say he got beat up I, I was watching the live. Um, you know how like Dwyer always talks about how he gets a feel for the the public's reaction and stuff like that. Well, that's what I was getting, man. I was getting a feel for the public's reaction, and the public's reaction was that from far, yeah, that from far was uh, getting schooled a little bit, you know, from what I saw. And based on that, um, I think Nathan Cleverly has a chance because Jurgen Bramer. He's a heavy hitting guy now. He's you know I'm looking at boxer. He got seventy percent knockout ratio, and I've seen him. If you stand right in front of him, you know trade with him. This dude is a southpaw. You in for a long night. You know this guy's got a good chance of knocking you out. You know beating you up. Now yeah he is kind of slow, but um he's smart. You know what I'm saying? He's he's staying over there in Germany. He's got the little WBA uh WBA title. He's keeping quiet. He ain't, he's not making any noise. Not calling anybody out. He's just steady making those little WBA defenses and stuff like that against some of these uh fellow um 
you know, Europeans or whatnot, which is okay, you know. Excuse me, man, which is okay. He beat Enzo Macronelli. That's the only guy I really know. And then there's uh, Kone Conrad. I guess he's supposed to be pretty good, too. But outside of that, I think if Nathan Cleverly moves his feet, he should be okay. Keeps that jab going, you know, moves his feet like he used to do, man. Like he used to do, man. He used to just uh, try to stay off the ropes, you know, circle a little bit, jab, get on the inside just just a little bit and just keep moving, you know. But guys, let me know what you think about the fight, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.